Expect the unexpected. Also, it's, it's sad that the, the weather isn't with us today. It's a bit rainy, but as you, as you said, the big players are playing today, both uh, Rafa and uh, Federer. So it's going to be awesome watch them play. So that's the highlight of, of our day. We're supporting <laughs> Federer, yeah. Why? And Zverev, of course, because <laughs> he's from Germany. Yeah. <laughs> so, so why? Why you attracted to uh, Roger? Roger, because he's a living legend. He's uh, one of the biggest tennis players ever. And he's, uh, yeah, he just plays uh, phenomenal. So he's awesome to watch. So, uh, yeah, that's why. Team Grand Slams and countless of champions. Like, what makes you still be in the court right now? Um, you know, passion for the game. I love what I'm doing. Uh, it was always a goal of mine when I was young uh, to play hopefully for a long time or make it on the tennis tour. I did it, mm -hmm. so I want to make the most of my career with, with no regrets, really. Has Mirka ever complained about your job, like leaving home all the time? No, not really. I mean, look, most of the time we travel together. She was a tennis player herself, so yeah. she knows what it's about. And uh, if I'm on the tour still today, it's also thanks to her because she's actually supportive of what I'm doing. How about Charlene and Mila? Are they being supported to their dad? Well, they are still very young, so they are, um, <laughs> you know, I think they enjoy the traveling, actually, yeah. you know, and if they would struggle with traveling, then also maybe I wouldn't be playing anymore, but it's nice that they're enjoying going to New York or going to Melbourne and then going to London and then going back home to Switzerland. I think the changes are actually um, very uh, educational for them as well because they make the most of it and they, come, they get to see places that uh, kids at their age normally never get to see so often so frequently growing up so I hope that one day they will look back and think that what a great life we had as a child. And you have thousands of fans here in China so we've received a lot of you know questions from your fans. Mm -hmm. Here I want to show you two okay. questions from your fans. All right, yeah, they've been great, they're always welcome and always very supportive. <laughs> Hi Roger, I'm Tian from Xi'an, an uh, ancient capital of China. I'm really curious if there is no Rafa Nadal, how many Grand Slams you can get? 25 or 30? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, look, I think um, it's, a, it's an interesting question, you know, mm -hmm. but I believe that if Rafa wasn't going to be there, somebody mm -hmm. else would have become stronger or okay. some, another player would have been there. Um, maybe I could have won a few more French Opens, maybe, but uh, other than that, I think it is okay the way it is. and. Uh, I'm not sure if I would have won more, you know, uh, mm -hmm. it's a hypothetical question, yes. you know. There's another one. Mm -hmm. Hey Roger, this is Roger from Shanghai. I'm a big fan. I always enjoy watching your game. And I think you have the best body skill in the world. Would you like to share your secret with us and give me some advice about training my body skill? Thank you. Volleys? Yeah, volley skills. Volley skills, so when you come to the net, you want to volley. You don't have to be scared mm -hmm. to hit a volley mm -hmm. because sometimes people walk in and go, Oof, I hope I don't have to hit a volley, I hope it's going to be easy, I hope the other guy misses. But actually, it's like a tiger coming to the net, you know, like you want to come to the net and win it, the point. So I think that mindset is very important. Footwork, you have to be fast, you have to anticipate well, you have to take chances, you have to bluff, and then the technique has to be sound. Simple firm, strong in the wrist, and through, punch through the ball. Uh, sounds easy, not so easy to do, it needs a lot of, lot of work to just practice that uh, area being at net. And I think uh, not enough juniors take time to do that because uh, I think it's really important development actually, the, the volley skills for any player.